Yo, Sapads. Uh, today's a different video. Um, instead of uh, CPU mining, we are doing GPU mining. And today, um, I'm gonna um, give you guys a use case for your older cards. And uh, the card we're looking at is the 5700 XT. Not this one in particular. I bought six matching uh, sapphire nitros. Uh, they're in my rig right now. But the coin we are mining is Hypra. And 5700 XTs are the second most efficient card for mining Hypra. So yeah, it's, uh, it's a money maker. And um, the difficulty is so low that you could put your whole rig on onto uh, solo and you just be finding blocks right, left, and center. So uh, I'm gonna show you the setup and I'll show you my rig going. And yeah, um, I think that's about it. And uh, yeah, so let's get this going. Okay, cool, here we are. We are here, here we are on the Hypra. Um, if you click here and you go on to benchmarks, You'll see the efficiency and and the second most efficient card is the rx 5700 xt so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get your wallet and you're going to go add network now i already have the network added but uh a metamask uh notification will come down and you just confirm that and it's usually just your uh, ETH address. But yeah, that's how you add the network. But then we're gonna go back over here and we're gonna click on the 5700 XT. And these are the overclocks that you want to use. So we're gonna go to our, we're gonna go here, we're gonna go to workers. And all my workers already have that, um, overclock set okay now we are going to want to create a flight sheet so let's go to list add flight sheet type uh let's add a wallet uh our wallet is in here so we go in here so here's our hyper wallet we're going to copy a cl clipboard enter address and then we're just going to call this our hyper wallet, create, uh, select pool. Uh, I'm going to go ViperNet today. First, first I'm going to test it out on pool mining, see how we do. And then I'm going to go on to uh, solo mining. So let's go to SRB miner. Uh, let's config. Make sure all the configurations are good. And yeah, that seems all good. Apply changes. And yeah, create fly sheet. What is it? Configure pool. Oh. Um, create fly sheet. Cool. Now we're going to go to workers. We're going to click workers. We're going to go flight sheet. And we're going to launch that flight sheet. And I'm pretty stoked. Uh, this is the first time I've launched this. And I don't know what kind of hash rate I'm going to get. I'm going to get, but it's going to be cool. Let's check our miner here. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, SRB miner is working. That's good. We'll leave this. And now we're going to refresh the page. And yeah, uh, with this uh, overclock, you're going to be getting around 51 mega hash. And uh, it's nice because each card will be running around uh, 80 watts, which is awesome. 
and that gives us 279.5 uh, mega hash. So now let's go to viper.net. All right, there we go. There's our one worker. And we'll just see kind of see what kind of hash rate we'll get. So with just six cards, uh, the time for me to theoretically find a block is uh, seven hours. But for you, uh, every single miner I've talked to has about like 30 to 60, 5700 XTs not doing anything. So this number here could be dramatically lower and you could solo mine this, right? You could solo mine this and then this becomes like irrelevant because you'll be uh, finding more blocks than, uh, you know, regular old me, right? So yeah, I think uh, this is a good coin to mine. So uh, here are the Sapphire Nitros that I bought. Um, it really, really bothers my OCD that their RGB doesn't work on this one card. But it also sucks that the uh, it's pulling enough power that the uh, industrial power supplies uh, fan kicks on and it's just gonna make this high pitch noise all the time. But yeah, um, that's the setup. And I may take my other 5700 XTs and uh, I may just put them on one of these boards. Cause I have two, I have two other 5700 XTs. And uh, yeah, so yeah, let's, let's actually do that and see what kind of hash rate we get. So I, so I added, um, my two other 5700 XTs to my other rigs. Let's go fire those up and uh, let's see our hash rate and see if it's worth solo mining. So going solo, um, my time to find a block is five hours. So I think that's a risk I'm willing to take. Uh, and uh, this was more to show like, you know, you miners with like 30 to 60, 5700 XTs, you could like fire the fire them all up and solo mine this coin and you would just get block after block after block and you'd just be making mad money. And if we go to... If we go to Coin Gecko here. Like this coin just had a giant pump. And uh yeah, I'll talk a little bit about the coin after. I would highly consider doing this. So I don't think I did the intro to this video justice. Um yeah, the video, this video was more to show uh, if you have a bunch of left over 5700 XTs and you want to solo mine, you can make, you know, mad money. And this coin, uh, it just hit a million dollar market cap and the difficulty is really, really, really low. So like, it's like one of those opportunities that could be like Caspa, you know, where you get in early and you mine the shit out of it. And yeah, I've been buying it secretly and mining it secretly in the background. I was waiting for those sapphires to show up, but yeah, um, I don't plan on buying any more cards for it, but I'm going to let that go as it is. Uh, it seems like I'm should do good uh my estimated time for finding a block is every five hours and that is five hype so yeah th that should be good um and now here is what hypra is hypra is what ethereum used to be but um i think improved on a bit here i have some notes about it it's 
totally not like I'm gonna be reading from a script here or anything. No, I'm not reading from a script. Ethereum has been changed to POS. There are still many who miss Ethereum P P POW. <laughs> Hype is developing faster than ETC, which has a market capitalization hundreds of times larger. It is a layer one that inherits the spirit of true Ethereum proof of work, applying world's first Shanghai update. Above all, by applying Blake 3, it is very fast and fees are low. Additionally, anything Ethereum DAP can be launched on hype with almost no modifications. We can confidently say that it is the world's most advanced layer one of all ETH proof of work forks in the world. Complete decentralization, the most advanced ETH proof of work, fast and low transaction fees. And yeah, that is, uh, that wasn't written from a script uh, that the, uh, Founder of Hype sent me. I, I came up with that. I'm, no, no, just kidding. I'm not a fundamentals guy, but uh, yeah, I would, I would even just like spec mine this coin. I, I, I'm really bullish on this coin. The two coins that I'm bullish on this cycle are Varus and Hypra. So I'm just trying to drill in your brain, like. Mine Hypra. Mine Hypra with me. But don't mind too much Hypra because I don't want the difficulty you could do to go up too much. But uh, yeah, that was my video. Hopefully I can put something good together. I It was kind of a, a rush job, but I tried my best. Um, all the links to... All my affiliate links are down below. Um, it's all the items I commonly use and buy. Uh, it helps grow this channel. And um, all the links to my social media are down below. And the link to my Discord is down below. Uh, my Discord is awesome. Uh, very positive environment. If you have any need any technical um, problems fixed, there's usually guys on there that have the know-how. So, yeah. Um, that was my video. And if you liked it, like it. And it's a subscribe always helps. Thanks.